Hey guys, it's Slamer for another video. Today we're gonna be doing another Jeebus Tower Effect video. Yeah, so this video is gonna be Tower of Deep Darkness. This epic tower right here. Corner glitching required, tower crossing required, not recommended for mobile. I made it to the last floor of this tower and mm, I fell. It was sadness. Because of a stupid trap, I wasn't thinking clearly. I literally failed from a trap on the last floor because I wasn't thinking clearly. That's why I should think clearly. And it took me three hours to get there. So by the way, guys, this is in ring two for people that want to play this game. It's an intermediate tower. Yeah, here we go. By the way, for people that want to do this with me, make sure you know how to do ladder flicking and corner glitches because both of them are required to beat this tower. I will also commentate in this video, but when I'm not commentating, there will just be music playing. So yeah, enjoy this video, guys. So the first floors are the easiest floors, but then it gets like a lot harder. Make it this specific. I wasn't concentrating. Are you kidding me? This floor is easy. This is also a darkness themed tower, but the first floors are not dark. It's also a descending tower. It's also super fun and creative. So very good tower. Why did you have to put a trap on the last floor? It wasn't the buttons. It was a can collide false part though. So watch out for a can collide false part. It was transparent. I would have watched out for if I was thinking clearly, but I wasn't. I was like, oh, a transparent part. Hmm, I don't know what that is. Also, uh, the speed went away late. The darkness is on the floor after this. There are a couple unfair zip lines on this floor, so just know that. Do not touch- Wow, why do I have to have hiccups when I'm recording? Yeah, probably a lot of not talking in the next part. What I'm trying to say is do not touch that button, but the hiccups are making it so I couldn't say- Oh my gosh. The hiccups were making it so I couldn't say that. Why hiccups do you have to come right now? We're to the first maze in the tower. There's another way harder maze later in the tower, which is quite annoying. Also, if you beat this tower, you get a lantern. So I can't wait to get a lantern if I beat this, which I hopefully will. This next part, uh, do it as I do it, otherwise, oof, you might get oofed. There's a Kermit the Frog that is after you, and you do not want to get oofed. Okay, now we go this way. Oh yeah, see the darkness now, guys? This is when it starts to actually get dark. That was a terrible way to do the wraparound. I should have actually done it the normal wraparound way.
You need to touch that button, by the way, guys, because that's because otherwise you won't need to progress. Also, don't worry. There's a safe net under there, like, like I just demonstrated. the time runs out then sorry you cannot go down here now there's a button deactivator because you don't want shoot i actually walked off are you actually kidding me i don't remember if i was supposed to do that why was i flipping talking about a stupid button deactivator when i should have been focusing on the tower i shouldn't have to explain all this stuff because i need to actually focus on this tower Oh yeah, if you walk off of this, you lose progress. What? Oh my, I'm gonna actually concentrate because I don't want to fail here again like a big dummy. What? Oh my, but that's probably gonna be hard to do when I have the hiccups, so yeah. Okay, now you get the green button. And then uh, you unlock this, and then you can go right here, and then you can go in this green part, and then go like this. And then, you guys saw me touch the black button, right? Well, that lets us go to a different spot. Also, when you go this way, you get a balcony, and you can actually, like, see light. You get a, a view of ring two, so pretty cool ring. Okay, there's a huge spinner. So, like, don't die from it. Oh yeah, you go in this zip line right here, and it brings you right here. Don't bonk your head here, just don't. And for this part, don't treat it like it's against the wall because it's not. I also recommend first person for this part right here. Okay, now we've finished that and you can go back to third person. Well, I recommend you do. Welcome to the deep darkness. You may notice that all of your lights are broken. That is normal within these depths. Good luck. Yeah, this is Can Clyde, but don't treat the rest like that because I made that mistake on a on a, on a tower crossing and the lantern was Can Clyde false and I fell through it because all the other ones are Can Clyde true. I wouldn't touch on any more lanterns past this point. So when you get here, uh, do it how I do it, I guess. Okay, so we unlock, uh, force to the red button. Then we must get the red button. So as you can see, we have some new stuff to do. Basically just some head hitters and stuff like that. This one's not that bad. So I recommend doing it how I do it. Uh, now I think it'd be best to do it like that. And then boom, we get the red button. Now we need to get the green button to proceed. Yeah, when you get here, just go, 
Oh my, oh. Okay, so you somehow have to find some stupid combination that makes it so the green button, uh, you can get to it. This is just a puzzle, and uh, I think it's a pretty annoying puzzle. Now we can. Okay, I just feel so unprepared for doing this video. Yeah, hiccups, you're not making this any better. Okay, now we have both the buttons and we can proceed further. By the way, this red part is a kill break. Okay, so at this part we have to wait for the moving platform to come. Don't go off until I go off, guys, because otherwise you're gonna make the mistake I did a while ago and you're gonna make the timing wrong because this part requires some interesting, unexpected timing. Okay, here, here, okay, it's come, it's come. Also, we have to do some corner glitching soon, so yeah, and power crossing. Hopefully you don't have a sad corner glitch mess up because those can be sad. Okay, we have the corner glitch, which is basically doing it how I do it. Corner glitching can take a while though, so you have to get to a corner, by the way. See, like that, there's a corner. Oh shoot, are you serious? Well, yeah, don't do that, because you're gonna lose progress. Oh, hi, I'm recording a video. I'm recording a Tower of Deep Darkness video. Hey guys, I'm back at this spot. Also, gamer or dev top called me. His gamer type plays account, like, he lost it. Be careful here because there's that part and you can accidentally latch onto it and then jump and then up. Yeah, I've done that before and I lost progress.
know someone just wake that up on over the years? Me. We have to do some more corner glitching. If there's any spot that you do not want to fail in corner glitching, it's right here, guys. Oh, oh, and I fail in corner glitching. Oh, shoot. Are serious, me? Flipping pancakes. What? Also, everybody watching it, uh, watching this, if you have a cool game off, follow me on Roblox. You're trying to plug yes. in my content? Okay. I'm your friend, and like, and like the Roblox have having friends, <laughs> they are allowed to plug in on social media and so YouTube videos. Okay, yeah, I should not fail this corner glitch. Oh, he also hung up. Do not fail this corner glitch again. Just don't. Oh, okay, good, I didn't fail the corner glitch. So yeah, now I'm here. Oh, oh, that could have been bad if it, <laughs> if it bumped me off. Oh. Okay, I have no idea what this part is. It's a bit weird. Okay, so we can jump to, I'm scared, I'm not ready, we can jump to, let's do this. Okay, here's something I failed on. If you jump on that lantern, it's unlike all the other ones, so you gotta, so you gotta make this terrifying jump. Oh, imagine falling there, guys. It would be nowhere near as bad as falling on the last floor, because if you fall on the last floor, that's an oof, because the, uh, you, you, you lose a lot of progress. So basically, don't touch the ground on the last floor. Okay, another tower crossing. Just so you guys know, this tower has a lot of tower crossing in it, but I think this might be the last one that we, no, there's another one. Oh my gosh, stop, you big tank of metal. Oh shoot, I'm about to get crushed. Well, we have to somehow get these parts over there, and it's actually kind of difficult. Uh, okay, I'm about to do this. Okay, where do we go now? Okay, we, yeah, we go this way. This part is very odd. <laughs> I wonder what tower this is, I actually don't know. If you jump here, it, yeah, teleports you there because you're not doing a literal uh, micro stud. Okay, this jump is pretty terrifying. This jump, we take a little bit of damage. I still barely understand this part. Okay, now we tower cross to Tower of Overcome My Hatred. Also, fun fact, Tower of Overcoming Hatred is the easiest tower in this ring.
actually really like this part. So I think it's about to teleport us because this part in the actual tower, yeah, is very long and painful. Okay, so I don't know if this is in the actual tower or if it's a tower crossing. Okay, you have a corner glitch. Do not fail the square glitch. Just, just, do, okay. Actually, it wouldn't really matter because it teleports you here. Oh no, I this part. There we go. And then we unlock this. Yeah, there's really a lot of corner glitching in this tower. Thank goodness I've gotten a lot better at corner glitching. I used to not be that good at it. Okay, now we're to the forest. Okay, so I barely understand this. Okay, here's the house. No, we find the house later, but I think there's a button near the house. There's also a key right there. I don't know what it's for. Just collect it if you want. I still don't know what it's used for. So basically we need to find a button. I think it's on like a tree or something. Man, I can't find it. Oh, here's the button. I don't know why it turns pink rather than brighter red, but uh, whatever. We're to this weird part. I barely understand this part too. Oh, yeah, it's over here. It's over here, though. I think it's, like, right here. Oh, yeah, don't touch the kill brick. Otherwise, you're gonna get... You're gonna lose. And this part, there's a barrier. And you have to do it the one stud spot. So I would just... Shoot, shoot, shoot. No. No. It glitched me. So I would just... Shoot, shoot. It actually glitched me. No, are you actually kidding me? Hey guys, I'm back here. I'm not gonna make the same mistake I did last time. Okay, now if you fall on the acid, you fall back to floor six. So don't fall on the acid. This part I'm pretty sure is collidable. Yeah, good. Basically we have to get some button, I guess. There we go. Oh gosh, that could have been bad if I had flung. Again, this is the part I know the least about, so don't expect me to do this like 100% accurately. Oh yeah, there's also that key, which I have no idea what it's for, but I'll take it anyways. Oh yeah, it's right here, this corner. Just go to one of the corners, I guess. And then you get an other button. Oh yeah, also, remember, it is watching.
Okay, so we grab this key and this button, then we go as fast as we dang can. We do a quarter glitch, and then I think I'm going the wrong way. Yeah, I'm going the wrong way. Yeah, don't go that way, guys. Just don't. I made that mistake so many times, and I don't know why I still go that way. Okay, then we have to go to the house, which I'm pretty sure is this way. Okay, then we go in here, then we move this, and then we go down here as fast as we can. Oh my gosh, I actually fall down. There we go. After we get past this part, I think we're good. Yeah. Yeah, there we go. Don't worry guys, there's a uh, safety net under this. Okay, yeah, we are getting pretty far down this tower. Yeah, uh, they have a, there's a safety net, but still don't stress. What? Oh my gosh. There was one point where I almost did die and I was getting flashbacks, so that's why I stressed. <laughs> hey, yeah. Wow. Um, yeah, I'll see you guys when I'm back there. Okay, yeah, I'm like back. Yeah, that kind of hits your head, so be careful there. Okay, this next part is super frustrating. No, are you kidding me? I failed the- Oh my gosh. See that? I'm gonna replay that. This is where it starts to get a lot harder, just so you guys know. So just be careful. Oh yeah, by the way, that's also a corner glitch, guys. Why do I stress every time I do that wraparound? Okay, I got the button, now let's just go down there. When you get the button, just like go this way. We're almost to the, the hard maze, guys. Yep, we're to the maze. All right, how about a large maze? Oh, great. I think I kind of remember how to get there, though. Oh yeah, 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 I remember this part now. Okay, I'm close to the end. I think it's like over here. Yep, that was the maze. Now we're to this part. This part is like so frustrating. Oh my goodness, it's 
so frustrating. You have to get like all these blue buttons when there's a timer and the parkour course itself bonks your head a lot because it's close to the roof. Luckily there's a safety net, but it's just really annoying. I feel like I can actually Never mind. I was gonna say, I feel like I could actually beat this first try, and then as soon as I say that, I fall. Okay, here's the really annoying head hitter wraparound. But I did it! Okay, now we're close to the end of this part. Yeah, I'm not gonna make it in time. I think I- Nah, I didn't make it in time. I don't even know what just happened. Yes, 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 yes. Oh, finally. Oh no, this floor. This is not the second to last floor, but it's also one of the harder floors. I need to take a break for a second. Ah! Yeah, let me explain this. I still don't understand it that much. Here it is, the last stand. This is the Penu Ultimate Challenge before you reach the last floor. To sum up this challenge, you are given a limit of falling up to the limit, 17.5 by default. If you fall down over the limit, you will be teleported back to the last checkpoint you touched. The limit is indicated by a red glowing pad below you. Remain above this indicator at all times. Good luck. I think I need to remain above the red thing. Oh yeah, the floor below us, that's the second to last floor, and that floor is so annoying. Oh, I also fell. Oh, I don't think I was supposed to- Okay, this is the second to last floor. Barely remember how to do that jump. Okay, like that. I did it wrong. Okay, now we got some water flicking. Oh, I failed it. Okay, let's do this. What? Oh, there we go. I did the jump. Oh my gosh. All right, here we are. Yes, yes, heading to the last floor, guys. 
Okay, I'm taking a stress. <laughs> I'm taking a stress break. All right, here we are, last floor. I can't believe you have made it here. This is the grand finale of the tower. We will give you a break from complete darkness for this final challenge. If you fall down, you will lose a massive amount of progress as you will be teleported to the beginning of floor three. Good luck. Basically, do not touch the ground. Okay, so there's the trap. That was the trap right there. Basically. Ooh, I'm gonna check the physics of the spinner on a YouTube video because I'm suspicious that you will not stick onto it. Okay, good, so you do connect to the spinner. Oh my gosh. Basically, I don't want to touch those buttons. I need to like dodge the buttons. I actually need to use the bathroom. Be right back, guys. All right, I'm like really stressed. Oh my gosh. Yes! Yes! I beat this! Yes! Well, yeah, if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to smash the like button and yeah, thanks guys.